I'm sure you're enjoying a wonderful meal, as I did. <laughs> but it's time for the evening to begin, officially. So it is my pleasure and my honor to welcome you all to this evening's events. We are sitting amongst some of the most distinguished thinkers and doers. And literally, with so much ambition in this room, along with creativity and achievement that is evident amongst the delegates of the Blue and Creative Leadership Summit, it really does feel like our future is bright, even despite the fact that there is a lot of serious discussion and things to keep in mind. This summit is that forum for sharing ideas and forging new partnerships. At the core of this work, whether it's the arts, the sciences, technology, business, politics as well, there is a belief in finding a new solution or solutions and improving the human condition. Our honorees embody that very premise. Dr. Mohammed Elarian, if you're not familiar with him, you should be. And that means you need to start watching CNN a lot more often. <laughs> Ms. Shirin Nishat, if you don't know her work, I implore you to look at what she has created over the course of her lifetime. It is incredible and inspiring. Dr. Peter Agre, a scientist that I, f I honestly, I, I was bowled over when I looked up the accomplishments that this man has achieved. They all are innovators and have tackled many issues through their creativity, interdisciplinary thought, and risk-taking. We honor them because they are a source of inspiration to connect with others, share knowledge, and contribute to solving global challenges. And it's all because of one woman, Louise Bluen, who I welcome to the stage now. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, um, it's a pleasure to be here. It's our seventh year, and um, I must take this moment to first thank all the people that have contributed to this um, great evening and um, for these two days. I'd like you to stand up, because it's so much work, and I would like to really um, give you a sense of uh, an applaud. So those that have worked on, on, on this summit and this evening, I mean, you deserve a big applause. <laughs> You're too shy to stand up. I guess humil humility is, um, is, should be at the forefront of our values, and I want to speak to you a little bit about values this evening. I think that um, we're in a society that is uh, very complex, with complex complex challenges from um, the Middle East, from technology, from unemployment issues, uh, from challenges from malaria. Half a billion people have malaria, I was just told this evening. Um, there's a huge challenges in front of us, but there's great opportunities as well. So, um, but the most, the most important element that I sort of feel is that we have um, a problem with identifying with what is really important in our life. Um, and, and that is, I think, values. To see an ambassador that was killed a few days ago gives us a sense that we don't understand anymore the respect of diplomacy and the respect of any rules. And that is um, when there's no more rules. It's like having our children with no more rules. Imagine they would be eating candies all day, not going to school, and uh, playing games, video games. So I think that it's very important to have some sense of values in our work, bringing values and um, discipline, perseverance, honesty, integrity, what we felt with the financial crisis is so hurtful. We still haven't recovered from it. Especially those that had only one meal a day, now they probably have no meals. So it's not only what happens in America, but it then it's the, all the domino effect that it has 
on the rest of the world. So I think that what is very, very important to look at is not how much money one makes. It's not about greed, but it's really about true honesty, perseverance, hard work, merit. And we try to give that sense to our children. It's difficult because they have variety of, of interest today and a powerful snowball effect of information coming at them, not controlled. So it's very hard to keep those values that anchor what we are about. Values is about tradition, and it's about our DNA, which comes into our culture. Culture seems to be something that we somehow forget about. The arts as well, we sort of put it in the closet, but that's what we are built, that's our DNA. I was just having a discussion at the table um, about you know, feeling lost a little bit. I'm Canadian, I lived in Europe, I live a bit in America as well, and sometimes I wonder where home is. A lot of people feel that way. So we want to make sure that in this global world that we anchor ourselves by looking at art, by looking at what is meaningful, and really not to forget what our values, and those values are our core. Someone without values have no soul. Someone without values is a poor person. No one in, in, you know, close to our last moment of life, no one will be able to say, oh, I've made too much money. They're not gonna think about money. They're gonna think about their loved ones how much time you spend with them, how much you care for them, how much you've given to them, and how your loved ones have turned out. That's what's important, and we tend to forget that in a world that is fast, very fast, and scary and full of opportunities. This evening, it's about recognizing. It's not about recognizing the Hollywood celebrities. It's about recognizing those that care, that give their life at making things happen. And <laughs> and so I'm very proud to be here and to honor people that have given a lot of, of, of their heart and hours and energy to make a difference. And I thank you all for coming this evening and participating as well. We have a summit for those that do not come to the summit. We have a summit that we've been doing for seven years. And again, it's about academic thinking, thinking out of the box with a multidisciplinary approach to give a sense of what our future is looking at. In terms of the next 10 to 15, 20 years, there's lots of challenges. So we welcome, uh, we welcome you all this evening. And I want to make a special thank to a special donor, Yuan Chi Guin, who's an artist, and usually it's a business person that contributes, but this evening it's an artist that have contributed into the sponsorship of this special evening. So thank you very much. The arts can contribute to education and to great ideas and great awards. Thank you, thank you. Shishi, Shishi.